box. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a bottle based on the curve grid and how we will use the sweep feature, projection, boundary blends, and so on. So let's start. We will create a 3D model bottle and I will switch on the datum planes and first of all we will check the model properties. So if you select the model properties you are possible to check if your units are okay. We would like to use the standard creo parametric so I will use the set and it's not definite nothing so it doesn't matter what which conversion method you will use so confirm OK. Then we would like to change the relative accuracy so we will use the 0 0.0004 and why? Because we will use the really small parts or some entities so for better definition of the edges and so on. We will start to create the first sketch so we will start with sketch feature and in the sketch I'd like to create the base dimensions and we will create a spline so the spline will be looks like this and the height of the spine will be only 9 so you can see right now that it's better to use the modify the sketch and log scale and for example these dimensions we would like to have only 9 if I will confirm OK and zoom almost everything is ready top dimension 1.75 and bottom dimension 2.25 I will switch off the datum planes and we will create a center line because I'd like to create the dimensions for this spline create new dimension and select spline end of the spline reference and middle button and dimension will be 100 and the bottom will be spline end of entities reference and middle button and this dimension will be 95 this is will be left side of the bottle I will finish OK and first part of the bottle is ready here yeah. let's continue second sketch and same sketch plane and same sketch orientation and we will create the right side of the bottle so we will create for example three points here and this point dimension will be three and couple of additional values the bottom degree I'd like to specify so again select the spline endpoint reference and middle button do not forget to use the control button because you select more than one reference you can play with the position so it's up to you how it looks like or what it will be the shape of the bottle the images are ready and we would like to continue we will create new two new datum planes. The first datum plane will be specified at the end of the first curve and with control button I will select the bottom top datum plane. So right now you can see that system select through and parallel. Perfect. I will confirm OK and with selected datum plane I'd like to continue so I will select plane and with the control button I will select end of the second curve the system will create parallel plane to DTM1 and end curve will be through points perfect why I need this one because we would like to create the on the top I would like to create new sketch and it's better if I will select directly reference of endpoint because if I would like to create a circle for example here 
the system can automatically snap. It's better if you will select the reference. The dimension will be 1.5 and it's good enough. So this is the top of the bottle. I like to specify the additional dimensions and shape. So on the bottom, we will create new sketch. And right now I don't want to see the actual or just created sketch. So you can use the clip model and the system will show you only what is referenced on the sketch plane. If you spin, spin off to the sketch view, select this icon and system will orient model or sketch the sketch view. Again, maybe it will be better if I will see everything because what I forgot is I like to select reference of the endpoint and endpoint and right now I can jump to 2D. Over here is endpoint and second endpoint. And we would like to create again the spline. So for example, base it with this shape and dimensions. I can select all dimensions, select modify it, and step by step to modify it as I need. If we will confirm OK, everything is ready. And what is possible to do, you can finish and it's ready. On the opposite side, I can mirror the sketch directly in the sketch 4, or you can use the mirror feature directly after the finishing. So I'd like to mirror this sketch regarding this plane and additional curves are ready. Great. What was possible to do and see that we have created a couple of base curve and almost you can see right now how the bottle will be looks like. For now you have seen how it's possible to create separate sketches, how it's possible to mirror for example, or how it's possible to create the datum planes regarding the endpoint and parallel orientation. We would like to continue, so I will create new datum curve through points. So you can directly select this icon or select the specify curve feature through points. And right now again, we would like to select the endpoints. So select the first point and continue with control button selection of the additional points. The endpoint of the curve, I would like to set up as the curvature continues to this reference curve. And again, on the left, second one, curvature to another curve. You can see that this arrow is going opposite, so you can change the orientation. And right now it's going like we need. Left hand side of the bottle is ready, and same, we would like to create new datum curve through points, control button, and still selection the control button. If you will finish with middle button, no problem, you can select the definition or control E and specify again the curvature to selected curve, Going really nice, and curvature to continues to another curve. Again, you can see that it's going opposite, so you can change the orientation of the curve. Please finish and everything is ready. On datum plane 2, we would like to continue with the another shape of the bottle. So I'd like to create a point and point will be placed on the curve. And with control button, I will select the reference DTM2 and the system will create intersect point between curve and datum plane. If I will confirm OK, this point, visualization of the point is here, display point, I'd like to reuse as reference in the new sketch. So I will create new sketch 
sketch plane will be DTM2, and orientation will go down. Over here, I mentioned that I like to reuse the reference of the point zero, what was created minutes ago, and again, I can orient it to, to D, and we can continue and create some additional shape. For now, I'd like to create the construction lines. I'd like to show you something new that you can create the standard curves, for example, like this, and over here, yeah. But I'd like to reuse the reference so you can see the system doesn't snap the reference point. So it's better if I will select again this point as the reference and I will create the circle. I have mentioned, I will orient it to D, that this curve I'd like to change as the construction. So you forgot, for example, at the beginning, select the construction mode. So no problem, you can create any line and then change to construction. And same for here, select the construction and you can continue. So what I would like to specify is the dimension, so diameter 1.5 and something smaller on left hand side. Based on these construction lines, I'd like to continue and I'd like to create again some spline features. So for example, over here will be first reference, second and third, and with definition the offset dimension will point 44 and 72 is the definition of my new curve. For now, I'd like to show you how it's possible to mirror directly in the sketch. If you would like to mirror in the sketch, select center line and create a center line, and then you can mirror around the center line. Everything is ready. If you confirm OK, you can see again that the bottle is much nicer. And again, like you said, yes, we miss some curves so we will create new datum curve and with control button you will select necessary information and again you need to specify the ends conditions curvature for example and specify everything like in the previous system will continue everything is done and again with control button and necessary information. So you can see that it's really easy to specify the datum curves regarding the existing references. Perfect. Slowly and surely the battle is almost done. Only a few surfaces are missing. If some surfaces are missing, we can start to create boundary blend. If you would like to create boundary blend, it's possible to select with control button two curves and the system will automatically create the surface between two selected curves. But you don't want to use only in the one direction. You would like to go in more than one direction. Yes? So you can select the first curve and with shift button, you can continue in the first curve selection. And again, with control button, you will select the other side and with the shift button, you will continue in the another selection. And right now you can see that system automatically recognize where the surfaces are or where the curves are intersected. Or you can directly specify for example, that you would like to trim this curve at selected reference. Yes, yeah? so you will directly specify how the surface will be trimmed. Yeah, if you would like to trim the top surface, no problem. Go to the curve and select the second direction and first curve. And again, you can trim. It is not necessary, but I'd like to show you that it's possible to do. Yeah, you can drag or if you know a value, offset value, or you can trim at this one. So what does it mean? The system will automatically create 
nice shape of the surface. If you feel finished, everything is defined like we need and we can directly mirror. Yeah, so I will select the boundary, mirror feature, around and confirm. Great. You can check if you will select the quilt, how the system will recognize. So right now you can see that this is two quilts. If you would like to make a one quilt, you can select the first one with control button. You can use an emerge feature. We will create, for example, right now, the merge feature. And if I will select right mouse button, two surfaces which are connected directly, I can join. What does it mean if you have selected quilt? Right now the system will select one quilt. Yeah? Okay, and later on you can offset and so on. What I would like to check or change here, what I see, that system creates a couple of additional surfaces for me. So I'd like to edit boundary and I'd like to have a look here on the control points and in the control points over here you can see that system creates nice surface again nice one and over here is something really smaller so you can have a look here and you remember that over here is the first curve and second curve so maybe we can connect endpoints here so if you will select the first one yeah it's not working but if you will select the second direction the system will show you the control points and you can select for example that you would like to connect these points with this point and right now the system will create for you only one straight line and the surface is much smoother the mirror feature is sometimes um, not collect correctly created you can see here that right now it looks like independent mirror feature okay no problem it's really easy, you can delete mirror feature and again create boundary blend and mirror feature around datum plane. If you will finish, you can see that right now it looks good, perfect. We would like to continue and I miss here some additional surfaces. So maybe we can create a datum curve, but I'd like to place curve on the points. So I miss this point. So first of all, it's better if I will create the point. The first point will be placed on this curve and offset value will be ratio 0.4. Position was good and opposite side. I would like to reuse next end. Yeah. And 0.4. So orientation and placement will be same. Yeah, 0 0.4, 0 0.4. Confirm OK. And if points exist, we can create again dating curves between first point with control button with vertex. And what you would like to create or specify, for example, you would like to go curvature continuous to this edge and how it will be oriented here. I think that 0.4 is not so nice, so maybe we can move it a little bit. No problem. And for example, yes, of course, we can specify here that we would like to go normal to this surface, but opposite orientation. Okay, good. Maybe we can try the shape like this or we can only leave as free, I think that will be much nicer and smoother. Okay, the point I'd like to change and maybe on the move. Yeah, 75 will be, oh, 40, 35 will be much better. 35 and Control G for regeneration. Great. I will create a second curve between point and vertex and over here will be again curvature continuous. This looks nice. Okay, 
we can continue with the missing boundary blend. Again, you can select the curve, but right now you can see that system would like to select the whole circle. You can use the right mouse button and to specify only part of the circle. And again, you can move the endpoint and I like to use the trim add and the system will automatically select for me only part of the curve. With control button, I will select the bottom and you can see, for example, that you can trim add here. So what is good that you can specify one by one or I can repair it that, for example, you can jump here and with shift button you can select whole one and divide and split and so on. So it's up to you if you will create the other one time or you will create two separate surfaces. For better explanation of the boundary blend, I will select only part and then I will, for example, use the opposite way. What does it mean? From top to bottom is going like this, but in the second direction, I'd like to specify between curve and another curve. And again, you can see here the system automatically select whole curve, but it's possible to trim at, for example, this point. What is possible to define here? For example, that you would like to go normal, or the surface can continue downstairs of the curvature to this selected surface. And it's really, really nice and smooth connection. The surface is ready. And again, for example, you can select and mirror or create a new one. It's up to you how you will create it. Again, if you will check the how the system reads these surfaces, you can see that if I will select the quilt, I do not have the mirror feature, um, merge feature, sorry. So you can, for example, select all surfaces and use the merge feature and the system will understand that is one huge quilt. Perfect. We'll see. It will be necessary. We can delete the merge or move it a little bit. So we'll see. I'd like to continue. Our bottle will be a little bit complicated. So I'd like to create a sweep feature. If I would like to use the sweep feature for the additional shape, maybe we can create new sketch. I will select new sketch plane and we will define the shape. We can try to use the references and select reference from the curve and select the first or second curve of the additional reference. And if I will switch to 2D and maybe I will cut or clip model. Yeah, right now you can see what does it mean, the clip model. It's much better to understand that everything what is before or in front of, of the sketch plane, it's automatically removed. Yeah, sorry. Great. So spin the model into D and we can create the additional spline. Okay, I will create the dimensions from here. And for example, five and shape looks good. Great. Curve is ready and we can reuse the sweep feature. But this sweep feature will be defined as the surface. So sweep as surface. We will jump into sketch with this icon, create or edit swap section and Maybe for better orientation, I will orient it 3D and we will create the arc. I think that this dimension will be much better.
that's good enough. Perfect. So we have specified the arc diameter for as defined, and I can confirm OK. Looks really well. Confirm OK. What we would like to do is to create a curve between just create that sweep feature and existing quilt. If I will select intersect, the system automatically create the curve for me. Here you can see it. Yeah, and we will reuse this curve for next modeling. What I would like to create here is the custom round. You have seen in the previous tutorials that it's really easy to possible to create custom round. And over here, I'd like to reuse this function. And it was one reason that I create the previous tutorials regarding create custom round feature based on the surface modeling. Okay, what was necessary to do? It was necessary to create a couple of points. So I will create new point here on this curve. And the definition dimension will be 0 0.95 looks good. And for example, here, and the value will be 0 0.6. It's okay because we would like to create a curve between these two points. Position looks good. I can confirm OK. And between these two points, we will create the curve. Curve will be defined again, for example, curvature continues the selected curve. Size is OK. And again, curvature continues to selected curve. You can select the right mouse button and system will switch from surface to curve and the shape of the curve looks really great. Nice, I like it. Okay, custom rounds is almost done, yeah? We miss only a couple of additional features, no problem. We can continue. What we'd like to create is the new feature, create a curve between two points. Select the first one, control second one. And right now I'd like to have a look on the placement. You can see that curve right now it's somewhere in the air, but we would like to use the surface from the sweep. So I'd like to place curve on surface. Perfect. So confirm OK. And on the just created curve, we will create the additional points. So for example, here, and we will reuse the dimension, for example, 0 0.25. And on this curve, 0 0.22. OK. Beautifully. So huge, we can change it later. OK. I again create a curve. The system remember that this point has been selected. So you can simply only continue with selection and change orientation of the position for the curve. Looks nice. Great. Points are ready, but we miss some curve here. Yeah, because you know that round feature is placed on the first and second reference. OK, let's try to create some projection. We will create a project and we remember that it's possible to project directly a sketch. So I will use the sketch internal for this feature and the sketch plan will be this one and confirm OK. For the references, I'd like to reuse the points what was just created, 0.6 and 0.4. And if I will go back into D, it will be better. And for example, if I will switch off everything, you see the reference points. But on these reference points, we will create a spline. So slowly, you can define your custom shape of the spline. And if you don't like it, you can a little bit play with it. Yeah, so specify your custom shape of the spline. It's absolutely up to you how you would like to use it. 
OK, if I will finish this sketch, we would like to project on some surfaces. And on these surfaces, we would like to project the curve along direction from sketch plane. Great. Looks nice. I can confirm curve is defined. OK. And we would like to use the same for projection on this surface. What does it mean? We can, for example, right now, create a not embedded sketch directly in the projection, but we will create a sketch outside. So we will create a sketch. Sketch plane will be, for example, to DTM2. And in the reference, I like to reuse it to points. So 0.5 and 0.3. Great. If I will jump into 2D, we can create our custom shape. Define a spline. If this point is not necessary to constrain, you can remove or you can directly move and play with shape again. It's up to you. If you would like to set the dimension, again, you can specify your custom value, for example, 90 degree. And for me, I think that's look good. We can confirm OK. And this curve, what was created here, we would like to project. Yeah, the system remember the along direction and you need select on the surfaces. So you can see right now that if you prepare the projection sketch, it's much faster to define where to place and how to place this projection curve. OK, everything is ready. And right now we can continue with boundary blend. I will create a boundary blend between first projection, control, second projection, yeah, we can have a look. And in the second direction, I will reuse the curve here. And again, the curve would be defined before. You remember that curve was selected as curvature. So you can specify the curvature of the just created surface and again over here. If the curve is defined as tangent, surface can be tangent. For example, if the curve is free, the surface cannot be tangent or curvature. Here yeah, continue curvature. So it's definition what you have to think about how the curve was defined. Okay, the surface is ready. So I will finish. The custom round is almost done. And right now I think that is good time to create the merge feature. So we will specify the merge feature between selected objects. I will select I think about that maybe it will be better if you will the mirror this surface. So I would like to mirror first on the opposite side. Yeah, this looks good. Then we can merge these two surfaces and it looks like one quilt. And again, I can use the join because over here the system will join it all together. And if you will reuse right now two surfaces and we will use the merge feature the system will show me the results okay it's like we need so i can confirm and again and we can continue with selected quilt and sweep surface and again create a merge feature try to check the results how it looks like so 
maybe it will be better if the arrow will be go opposite right now it looks good what you would like to change maybe or what you would like to remove is remove these two surfaces it's really easy please select the quilt and use trim function the trim function asks you please select the curve so you can select the curve and the system will remove not visualize object great looks really nice what I miss at the end is the finishing of the bottle on the top so please create a couple of points here and we can try to use some values okay maybe 0 0.46 is good enough and another point will be from the next point and dimension will be 0 0.18 okay we can have a look and we will see we have a couple of points here so we will create a datum curve between 0.6 and 0.7 we will continue curvature to select that curve okay to 0.17 I was I will move a little bit 0.7 sorry and we'll be fine okay so maybe to 0.7 if I will change okay looks good and another curve it's only about the playing with the value here you can see right now that you can play and see what will be final result great no problem we can have a look so please right now we will create a boundary and again right mouse button and select you can trim at reference okay everything will be created on the same time and with the selection and control button yeah so please select right mouse button and the system will always show you what you would like to select and when sh with shift button you can continue if you would like to trim select the endpoint and trim at reference and the surface is ready and we can have a look and at the end if i will hide every curve we will see the final result just created quilt is possible to mirror again around the surface you don't need to create it one more time and don't forget at the end select alt quilts and create the merge feature and finish the bottle is almost ready and what we would like to add is bottom of the bottle so we will create surfaces and fill we will create the sketch plane or reuse the sketch plane and i can directly reuse the projection of the loop or specify one by one okay the system doesn't recognize that is the loop but you can see it was possible to easy select the reference or existing reference and come from OK. The fill and existing quilt is necessary to merge all together. And at the end, my suggestion is quickly and easy create a round feature. Yeah, we we'll specify round feature and bottle will be ready the bottle is almost ready and what we would like to add maybe at the end is the thickness so please select the quilt set thickness and specify value for example 
0 0.5 or for example 0 0.1 it's up to you here if you would like to hide all existing geometry you can select it really quickly select sketch one and at the end select round feature and hide everything the system do not remember this feature that was hided so please jump to the layer tree and use right mouse button and save status if you will select save status you will open the model one more time and the system will remember the visualization of the layers for more information how to work with layers I will prepare the separate tutorial. At the end, we will specify the color, so you can specify the custom colors. So it's up to you what you will specify. And for example, we would like to use the button like this. If you would like to create a transparent color, it's not a problem. You can select Edit, and you can specify the transparency and specify the custom values and what kind of transparent color you would like to use. If you would like to know more how to render 3D models, please try to check my previous tutorials regarding rendering. In this video tutorial, you have learned how to create bottle based on the curves, points, sweep feature, boundary blends, and so on. I hope so that you like this video tutorial. If you like it, leave me a comment, likes, or buy me a coffee. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Bye.